My name is Andrea Moreno Beals, and I'm a cellist. Mostly performs with the band Breathe Owl Breathe. Home base is in East Jordan, not far from Lake Michigan, not far from Sleeping Bear Dunes. There's just so much natural beauty that so many people who aren't from Michigan have no clue is here and that's really inspiring to me as a musician. But the other wonderful thing, I think, is how many musicians there are here. There's an incredible community of musicians in this state that's a support system for anyone trying to be making a living as a musician. She turns to me on the drive this the city is alive. My name is Nia Silau. I've been dancing since ah uh, maybe it's going on 14 years now. The dance community in Michigan is really tight-knit and I really like that because everybody kind of knows everybody and once you start to build a reputation here, you gain popularity that way as opposed to, you know, moving to a big city such as New York or Chicago where you're just kind of a nobody in a huge pot of <laughs> dancers, so I like it here, yeah. Hi, my name is Diana Soison and I'm a colored pencil artist. When you want the, the great detail that you get from colored pencil, you need to have the sharpest pencil possible. And uh, when you're working so intensely, you're sharpening the pencil quite often, every two minutes if not sooner than that. I got into art when I was, I'm going to say, probably five or six years old. Uh, every Sunday at the dinner table, after we finished our dinner, I would ask my dad to draw me a, a pony. And so I would take his drawing of the pony, go over into the living room and sit at the coffee table and try to do the same thing. I believe if I stayed in Pennsylvania where I grew up, my access to other artists would be very limited. Uh, living in Michigan, now I, I have a lot of connections with a lot of artist friends. Um, I believe I've gotten further with my art here in Michigan than I would have in Pennsylvania. On Friday I fell, wearing boots without treads, fell from the great stupid height of myself. The I'm Laura Kaziski and I'm a writer. I write poetry and novels. I sit in a room alone a lot <laughs> and and write. So I, I think that some of us writers in Michigan might have a fantasy that in New York we'd be at cocktail parties all the time talking about writing. But really, I know those writers and a lot of them are just sitting in a room writing all the time too. I would say that it's not so much the state and the particular cities or anything demographic, but it's it's the seasons. The seasons inspire me a lot. I just there's so much sensory stuff going on with the change of the seasons, and um, each one is so intense here <laughs> and so di so radically different from the one that came before or the one that follows um, that I just really never stop feeling inspired by them. My name's Oren Goldenberg. I'm a filmmaker. I live and work in Detroit, Michigan. In the Cass Corridor, my company's name is Cass Corridor Films. Uh, I love Michigan for many reasons. I can do what I want to do because I don't have to make a lot of money here. And uh, surprisingly, right now, you know, in film, this is a much more worthwhile place to be than anywhere else in the country. You know, you know everyone's busy here. We're all, we're all, you know, bidding, and it's. A smaller pond here, and I'm a bigger fish. I'm working on a project about the Brewster Douglas homes. To be here and to be able to run a business and pick the projects I want to work on and work on my own independent projects and still eat and live, it's great. I, I don't know where else I could be doing that right now.